Guys, we have a big problem on this RC car. We sent it to the moon, probably 50 foot high. Worst possible landing ever. Complete carnage. So we're going to have a little look at that in a minute. By the way, we are, well, I am recording this video live, but for most of you guys, it's going to be replay. It's been a while. This is my first live stream for probably in a few months, actually. So let's crack this off and have a look to see what's going on. And I've got the comments coming up here on the screen. So if this is all working, is it working? We'll see in a minute, hopefully. Let me know in the comments if the stream is working. No one's really commenting. But anyway, what happened was, I'll let Martin have a go. And the video's going to be out at some point. 50 foot up, it cut out when it was in the air. And it landed like that. Boom. Complete carnage. So... Bent the chassis there, look. Never done that before, the M2C chassis. These are one of the strongest chassis that you can get for the armour cars. You know, between this and the Scorch one, I'm not sure which one's stronger. They're probably about the same, but I've never done that before. And I've never seen anyone else do it before. Not to that extent. So, that's knackered. It's got the hot racing aluminium bulkheads in there. And I think that maybe didn't help because something has got to give. And they didn't. And I've got the M2C shop tower, so that's all solid. I've got the custom RC upgrades chassis brace. And it's it's just ejected it all. It's all gone. Look. All that this thing here's gone. That little block. Um oh it ripped this out as well. Completely ripped that off. And ripped this here. Ripped the whole screw out the chassis look. So we can't even straighten the chassis because it's completely ripped it out. So, but luckily I have a spare one, so we're going to chuck that on in this video. Um, hopefully we're not going to find too many more problems with it. Uh, the drive shaft here is bent. Um, screws have snapped to hold the shock tower to the bulkhead. So, I don't know how we're going to get the screws out. So, you these are done in. Right, I'm going to start wrenching with this. Enough waffle. Hopefully, you guys guess in the comments if there's going to be any more damage. Uh, and, and put in the comments what you think the damage is. I think it's just chassis, this little block thing here. Uh, bump that back on. Some screws in there. Uh, the wing mounts got bits missing. So I'm actually going to put some Creighton wing mounts on it from RPM. They're a bit longer. I don't really like the stumpy wing. I prefer them a bit longer. So hopefully that's going to fit. We get it rolling again. Ah, who we got in the house? All that lot there. RC family in the house. Full sender in the house. Nisha in the house. It's monkey in the house. Loads of people in the house. Can't get you all. Right, let's donkey down here for a sec. And we'll get wrenching away. Oh, look, there's beautiful laminators over there, look. That blue one's dead. We've got to fix that. Transmission's gone. All right, can you see? So I think first things first, wheels off, because it makes it easier to work on these things when you take the wheels off first. Snoot says more planes, Kev. Yes, I'm going to get a turbine. And I can't fly them, so it's probably going to be a fun video for you lot. <laughs> So what have you guys been up to today? Let me know in the comments. What have you been doing? Working, playing, schooling, what have you been doing? I'll tell you what, on these Italians, I really like these belted tyres. They really rev high, they don't expand much. Um, can't really say anything bad about them. Great tyres. When is the next electric ramelator video? Up the monkey. Uh, don't know. I'm tempted to put a Mac 4 in there. Run it on 12S. So, we'll do that at some point, and then there'll be another video on it. And I've got a few upgrades to do on it as well. So, there will be. Well, I've got actually three Raminator videos planned. All of those Raminators. That one there needs repairing, the blue one. Uh, that's the one with the big ATCC. Let's flip you around and I'll quickly show you. So this one here is the one that's got the Taylor ATCC engine in it. Same amount of power. Last time we had it out, it did cause quite a bit of damage. I've got these prototype 
diff cups to try out because the stock ones they do break quite often so hopefully that's going to be the end of that gearbox completely destroyed well not completely destroyed the casing melted i don't know if you can see i had it in the last video actually but i think a bearing seized up and it was spinning inside the case and it melted it all in there uh, melting point of aluminium is about 600 degrees centigrade it's quite hot so <laughs> a bit crazy uh, in here i have a whole load of raminator upgrades so well, just normal bearings new diff covers or gearbox covers uh, i'm going to do the four shot conversion so on this one this is the version two it's got the old style shocks they bend so that's going to get a set of the v3 shocks and this one's going to get the not the four shock the eight shock conversion and in this one here, I want to put a, bit, a better engine into it, better servos. Uh, I'm not sure what engine yet. I don't want to go as crazy as that one. That's just mad. I sort of use it once in a while sort of thing. This one, uh, I don't want to make it completely insane because I want it still usable. So on 8S, it's nice. On 12S, it's, it's mad anyway. So with a Max 4 in there, then I think we can have it mad or not mad, depending how we feel. And then this one here, I want it to be like more of a reliable bit more horsepower than stock uh, sort of general purpose basher but that's the extreme one that's like special day one that one all right let's get back onto this a bit less waffling so um alina rs is charging batteries for the hope i i'll tell you what here is absolutely tipping it down oh that this thing here there's a video coming up live soon. I'll let Stempy have a go. That was on the same day as this. This one, Martin had a go and slaughtered it. This one, Stempy had a go and he slaughtered it as well. Bent chassis, the shock tower's ripped off, look. Bumpers off front and back. The engine stalled on impact. I think it's just a pull start got ripped off. So, yeah, upgrade video with that coming at some point as well over on the main channel. Oh, Sonny in Sheffield says Ozzy Osbourne. Ah, I'm jealous. Can I use this chat for dating? <laughs> it says Davis RC, go on. You can use it for whatever you like, as long as it's polite. Uh, right. Uh, I think we have to just start stripping bits off. I think. Start taking bits off. Hey, Russell RC in the house. How you doing? Augustus says bench chassis fixing will be expensive. Yes, definitely a worthy upgrade. Though, if you're going to extreme these armors, if you're going to extreme bash them, you do really want an M2C chassis on there or a Scorch chassis because otherwise you're going to bend them. Stock ones do bend relatively easily. Hopefully, we're going to get all the screws out without them rounding off. Oh, gold, this one's bent. Oh dear, what a mess. Yes, I'm good, Russell RC. Thanks for asking. DJ Rafe in the house, Chris White in the house, Larry in the house, Gaines in the house, Peter in the house, Eddie. I, I can't get them all. David Turner in the house. How you doing, dude? David Turner's always in the house. He's a regular. So is DJ Rafe. He's a regular. It would have been nice actually if these screws snapped off from the bulkheads and hopefully it would have just broke the bulkhead off and not caused any more damage. That would have been nice, but that didn't happen. That, that off. A lot of people always ask me, how do I know where the screws go back? Well, I do try and keep the screws with what they come out of. So this little back bumper here, look, we leave the screws in there, later on it's gonna be easy. Oh my God, what, what the hell? Martin, what have you done to my car? Look, he even broke this piece off of here. How did he break that off? How? That's 7075. That's chassis 7075. And we'll try and straighten this in a little while. And you'll see these are really hard to straighten. They're really tough. You've really got to hit these some to, to straighten them or, or even bend them in the first place. I've got a funny feeling that the stock armour chassis 
even the ones that say 70 75 on them are not actually 70 75 because they tend to bend really easy Oh, so these, these here that made that a proper 70 75 that really takes some going to bend these oh gold oh snap screw martin this is probably my favorite speed basher someone says what loctite do you use i use a few different loctites oh oh no oh what the hell how martin Martin Chris, how did he do that? Look, look at that. That is a hot racing bulkhead. Completely buckled it. Look at the state of that. Do you know what? I'm thinking not to use these anymore. Ah, oh, man. Because if that would have been a plastic bulkhead, I'm thinking it would have probably just ripped it off and destroyed the bulkhead. Plastic bulkheads are nice and cheap. See this here, it's just slaughtered all of it. Should have just used the X-Max. <laughs> X-Max is still break though. If the X-Max would have taken this landing, it would have... Hmm. Oh no, sometimes it would have survived it, sometimes not. This is now getting expensive. Yeah, so we destroyed the M2C chassis. We destroyed a hot racing bulkhead. Uh, we've done the hinge pin braces in, 70-75 ones, but I think that's still going to be alright. Oh, oh, yeah, it's getting expensive. Right. I've never done this to a chassis before. Not, not to an M2C chassis. So, something's got to give, hasn't it? When you crash hard, something has to give. And if everything's solid, it, it probably it all goes. And now, this, this could have been a really cheap fix. It's going to be not really expensive now. <laughs> so, the only trouble is, with bulkheads, they're cheap. But they're a bit of a pain in the butt to change. That's why I thought I went with the alloy ones, but... I wonder if you put really crappy screws in there, maybe it'll, it'll snap off. I don't know, I don't know what the solution is. Are you still having it? it was Martin? Yeah! Alright, so the wing mount is... Got bits missing from it. Hey, Raz in the house. How you doing, dude? Raz has just came out with some pucker servos, actually. Let's show you people. He's just done a video on his channel, so check out Raz Schiffrin's channel. If you give another comment, Raz. Oh, he just has. He just said Raz in the house. No, Russell in the house. Where's Raz? There's Raz. Yeah, so if you click on... If you click on Raz's channel, he's done a video on these servos. And epic. Absolutely epic. I'm not going to waffle on anymore. You can watch his video. But I've used two of them now. One in the X-Max and one in the fire team. So far, so good. Raz, look. Hot racing bulkhead. <laughs> I think you need to make some perfect pass ones that don't do that. Right. Get all that out of there. Man, this is complete carnage, this is. Uh, Alright, we'll put this aside first. We'll, we'll change the chassis first to get the chassis done. We'll get this, oh look at that, bent drive shaft. Get rid of that. Alright, let's get this bit sorted out first. Uh, what's going on with the possible 200 mile an hour project? Well, uh, hopefully some videos soon. We're just trying to sort some locations out. And Raz wants to come over actually and do some videos. So hopefully one of us is going to get the world record. Hopefully. Oh man, this is so much stuff to take off on there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. 
How's the budget under mile an hour car going? Yeah, gotta get back on that. I mean, I have started filming it last year. Got loads of footage, but I haven't got anywhere near 100 mile an hour yet. And I'm not gonna release the video until we do. Send it to the moon. Oh, I don't know about these hot racing bulkheads now. I mean, if you're gonna take the, the, the the height jumps that we're doing, if you land bad, stuff's going to get torn up. And if you're going to do the bulkhead in anyway, I might as well just put a plastic one back on it. No. Who we got in the house here? Ah, got got Noah's RCs in the house. Let's give let's give Noah's RC, let's give Noah's RC a little. Let's give him a little spanner. Where is he? Where is he? Where's Noah? There he is. Let's give him a spanner. There you go, Noah. You are an official moderator. Now when people misbehave, you can tie them out and you can ban them as well if they're really bad. <laughs> When will we mammoth again? Well, I've sent the mammoth back and they don't know how long they're going to want it for. So maybe I'll never get it back. <laughs> maybe they don't want me having one. Maybe they do. So we will see. Get all these screws out of here. Right, what do you guys reckon? Are we going to go back with the alloy bulkheads or are we going to not? I do have some spare alloy bulkheads, but I don't know. What do you reckon? How's the monster truck, says Eddie? Yeah, good. I'm going to do a little bit of work on it later. All right, so that's off. Alloy bolts, please, someone says. Go plastic, fantastic. The trouble is, if everything's alloy, stuff's got to go. That's what I like about the X-Max. It's all plastic. It all bends. It all flexes. When you make stuff solid, stuff's going to break. It's unavoidable. And plastic's cheap. Alloy's expensive. Jesus, that's in there. My God. Oh, it's got to lock that on top of it. That's why. <laughs> Tommy in the house, how you doing? What's that junk on the bench, he says. Well, it started off as probably the best speed basher. It was absolutely amazing. Martin had a go. I said to him, just see how high you can jump it. It cut out when you hit the jumps. It landed straight on the butt and completely wrecked it, like lots. Bulkhead done, hot racing alloy bulkhead done. M2C chassis done. Hinge pin blocks done. And God knows what else we're going to find. Yep, yeah, Tom Lee, you are right there? Metal, metal, something's got to go. The thing is though, the alloy bulkheads, I mean plastic bulkheads or any bulkheads, are a bit of a pain in the butt to change. So... You know, there's only so far you can modify stuff. And in my experience, the X-Max is still the king. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but experience I've had cannot beat the X-Max. Just keep coming back for more. And when you do break it, it's cheap to fix and easy to fix. See, if this was the X-Max, I reckon it would have probably survived. I mean, obviously everything breaks, but... Nine times out of ten, I think the X-Max would have survived this crash. Hardcore in the house. Raz, what do you think about the Mammoth? <laughs> what is Raz Schiffman's opinion of the Mammoth? <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? Ha 
How are you getting on with the MT8 then, Tom Lee? Is it as strong as the MT10 or is it a letdown? I have just built an M2 CX Max actually. Let's quickly show you. We done this the other day. AS Steve come over and he M2 CFI'd his one as well. So this one here has got a big hobby wing motor, Max 5 VSC. We put the M2C chassis brace on there. And look in there, look, I'll try and get you in there. I can't be bothered to take the body off. We've got the big, the big motor mount in there and everything. So we've got to take that bashing soon. That's got bags of power. So apparently that's made it stronger by putting alloy on that, but I'm skeptical. So we are going to see soon if it's better or not. Ah, Tommy says the uh, MTA isn't as tough. Uh, I didn't think it was going to. That's a shame. It would have been good if it was. Arm seam weak. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, if RPM makes some. I mean, weak arms are normally an easy fix. So it's not too bad. Uh, right, more stuff in here. What is the last this fat a land animal? I don't know, a cheetah? <laughs> I don't know. Greyhound? <laughs> Lance says M2C is crushing it. Yes, they are. They do make some epic stuff. I'll give them that. Yeah, now he's got to go. See you later, dude. Taking these screws out and trying to leave them with what they come out with so we remember where they go. What is the best starter RC card? Do you know what? I'd probably say the MT10 Associated for the price. Uh, I've got another video coming out with that soon. What a BT we gave you. I, I actually gave it to Stemp and said, go for it, try and kill it. And it wouldn't die. We all tried to kill it on a concrete skate park, it would not give up. You wait until you see the video, you're going to be like, what? How is that thing still going? Wrong one! X Max rules, yes, David. I do agree. I am a X Max fanboy. Some people call me a Traxxas fanboy. And no, I'm not a brand tour. I don't care what brand something is, as long as it's good. If it's good, I like it. If it sucks, I won't like it. I don't care what brand made it. Couldn't really care less. But X Max, yep, X Max fanboy I am. And if Army or Tonka Toy would have made it, I'd love it just as much. Just the same as phones. Don't care if it's iPhone, don't care if it's bloody Fisher Price. Who cares? If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Who cares what logo's on it? Not me. I know people do. I don't. How's the DBXL? They're um, all good. DBXL is hanging up on the wall up there. It's all repaired. Look, all good. That's the video actually on the main channel. That got a complete slaughtering actually. We took it to a skate park and gave it a durability test. It didn't end too good. Right, that is the chassis off. There we go. Ooh. Right, I'm going to show you in a minute how it's going to take probably quite a big wallet with a hammer to straighten that. I mean, when stuff's made out of proper 7075 T6, it is insanely strong. My guess is, is that I must say it's 7075 T6 on their chassis, but it comes with the EXPs. But when you tap that with a hammer, they bend really easy, so I've got a feeling they're not being truthful. 
What I might do actually is get a chassis. I think Dave told me to do it. Is get a chassis and send it off to some testers and see if it's actually made of what it is that they claim. All right, let's get a big hammer. Big hammer! Do, 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 do. Oh, it got to work on that look. Got all that stuff on there because the plastic bulkheads on that keep breaking. Oh. So alloy ones might be a bad idea. Hmm, we'll see. Right, uh, big hammer. Uh. So the couple of you guys were asking about the monster, so while we're in here, let's have a little looky. It's pretty much ready to go. I'm just tidying it up, really. We had it running a few times. I've got to make a little guard to go over the supercharger pulley. I've tidied up all the wiring in the engine area. So next I've got to tidy up wiring under here. It's a little bit messy. I've just put a new Aki sump in there because the other one failed and it was too big. So I put the one in there that was supposed to be in there and wired it in properly. And, oh, I've got to check for leaks actually. Is it leaking? Nope, no leakage, lovely. Yes, we've got to tidy all this wiring up here. Body's all cut out, look, ready to go. We're taking that over to Tony. And he's gonna paint it and make a mold, so when I break it, he can make me new bodies. And you wait until you see the stickers, guys. It looks epic. It looks amazing. And then I've been tidying up all my wiring in here, look. I've got to make a little mount to mount some of these bits and bobs. But we're getting there. It's nearly done. It's nearly done. I mean, it works, it drives. It does everything it's supposed to do. It just needs tidying up a little bit, a few things. Got to shorten this cable here. Oh, yeah, it's all alive. And I've got to make a little throttle pedal angle thing, because when your foot's in there, the angle's too steep and your heel sits back there somewhere and you can't get your foot in there properly. So I've got to make a little, little thing to raise it up a little bit. Uh, a bit more cableage, tidy up edge. It's sitting at the minute at its lowest position. We've got to put some air in the shocks because we let all the air out so we can cut the arches out. Um, here are the big tires. Yeah, that's what's supposed to be on there. Some people say, well, what is it? That's not a monster truck, it's got little wheels. Well, these are transport wheels. And even though they look small, they're actually pretty big. These are 40 inches. Andy, Andy the Landy's got 36 inch wheels. And they look massive on Andy the Landy. These are 40 inch wheels. So they're bigger than Andy the Landy's wheels. But on that thing, they look tiny. <laughs> All right, hammer, hammer time. Uh, where are we going to donk you? Oh, we've got a vice there, so we might as well donk you there. Which way are we going to do it? That way, that way. I mean, this is definitely the weakest part of the chassis. That's where it's finished and it's got a hole there for the chassis plate as well. It's taken quite a lot to bend it back. I know if that was an armour one, that would have bent well easy. So, let me know when we're straight. A uh, bit more. All right, that'll do. So, I would have put that back in, but because we've got the countersink missing. Look at that, perfect. But because we've got that, M that um, countersink missing, that M3 countersink there, that's gone, you can't use it. Right, new sh new chassis out. Maybe we could re drill this to like an M5 or an M6 and maybe use it somehow. Oh, shame that ripped out, otherwise we could have just straightened it and carried on bashing with it. Hardcore goes muscles. No muscles here, dude. <laughs> right, new chassis. New chassis. Tommy says hot glue it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'll leave that to STEM. When you next going to ask uh, to our raceway? Says Marzali. No idea, dude. Don't really plan it until the night before. 
normally go like once a month or something like that. You look almost like you know what you're doing, Kev. No idea. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. That's all life is, is, isn't it? Just wing it, wing it through life. You all die at the end. Who cares? As long as you're, as long as you're doing good and you're enjoying life, who cares if you know what you're doing or not? It doesn't really matter, does it? All right. So I've got to drill a hole in there to hold this skid plate on because with these, with these um, M2C suspension brace things, they work a little bit differently and you can't, they don't pick up off of the holes that are there in the stock chassis. So, because I'm running this bumper, I have to put a little hole in there to hold it on. So let's get him off, get him on there first. Uh, like that. Kev, when's the red x Max going to be used again? Oh, it just has been. And there'll be a video on that soon. There is that. Get that out of there. Put a washer on it. You could put a washer on there, but it'll stick out the bottom then. I mean, maybe if you incorporated it with a Bash bar or a skid plate or something, maybe. I don't know. No idea. Oh, I mean, you, you could use it again. But I've got a new chassis already sitting here, so I might as well put a new one on. Because I got it. You know, if I got it, might as well use it. Right. Uh, I need to drill it and get that back on. So maybe if we get a couple of screws in there, just to hold that on. just so we can get the hole positioning right and take it off again. Couple of screws in there will do. And we'll donk this on there, and then we can drill the hole. Hey, we got Tone from Hawaii. We got Ozzy Ray from Australia. Kev, you need a girlfriend? No, I do not need a girlfriend. I've seen too many people have their lives ruined with relationships that are not working out, and I'm happy the way I am. I don't want anything risking it. I've got too many dreams, too many goals. I cannot risk anyone getting in the way and stopping me from achieving my dreams. I've got many more dreams. Monster truck was just a little dream. The main dreams are like way, way bigger. And if the perfect girlfriend comes along that would support me with it all, then maybe I'd be all good. But I don't think anyone would put up with what I want to do work-wise. 24 seven working, seven days a week. I mean, you can't expect anyone to put up with that, can you? So, you know, if you, if you find the perfect one, then it will make your life happier. But if you're with the wrong person, it will make your life misery. Right, that there. That there. And now we can drill through that. hand drilling you want to go slow and hard push hard on it and go slowly if you go fast you're just going to burn it out
<laughs> I was waiting for that's what she said to comment. <laughs> You can tell when something's proper 70-75 because it's quite hard to drill. Right, we'll get the hoover out in a minute, suck up all the mess. Right, headphone users, careful. We've got racket coming up for a minute, just got to suck away all that dirt. We just done some hard drilling, now we're doing a bit of sucking. Serpent RCs, they're not really bashers are they? I'm more of a basher. And I'll tend to get stuff what people really want to see. And not many people ask me about a serpent, so that is why. If all the comment section would blow up with people wanting to see serpents, I'll get them, but not many people do. So I tend to get either what I really want myself, or what you guys want to see. So like Raminator, I really want it myself and you guys like seeing them. X-Max, I love them myself and you guys like seeing them. Get that on there. A pet monkey would be fun, that would be fun. Be a lot of work though. Be fun for like a little while, then it will probably get too much after a while. Be while right, someone else is looking after it. <laughs> right, so spin that out of the way. And then we'll get these screws underneath in. And they were actually loose, so we're going to lock tighten them. So when you said about what my favourite lock tight is, for general stuff, I use that one because it comes off again. And if you want it to never come off again, uh, then that one. And I've actually got a stronger one somewhere, it's called Stud Lock. That one really won't come off. I mean, if you heat it up, it will. And I don't know where it is, the Stud Lock one. But the Stud Lock one, that's green as well, and that one's really strong. You get woven XL, maybe. Kelsey said, I'm in your backyard. No, you're not. If you would be, then you wouldn't be there for long. <laughs> if you manage to get into my backyard, you'll probably last there about 30 seconds. Where's the world's fastest RC car? Just up, up there. Planning to get it out soon. Get all that back on. Max 4 combo. Thoughts. I haven't got any thoughts because I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> but I will have. I've got one coming. Thunder RC is looking for a challenger for big sends. 
Ah, I do big sends sometimes. I mean, that's how my channel started really, was doing big sends, but now everyone does it. There's not really anything that special anymore. And you just end up destroying all your stuff for nothing really. I mean, you don't even really get views anymore doing big sends because it's so overly done. Everyone's doing it now. The amount of people that are just destroying all their gear just to try and get views, but you don't really get views doing it anymore now. You used to. About four years ago, if you really took stuff to the moon and wrecked all your gear, you'd get loads of views. But now that everyone's doing it, it isn't. So everyone's just wrecking all their gear for no reason. So that's probably why you see... I do do big sense sometimes, but not like I used to. Because people don't really care as much anymore. Uh, right. So now, where were the screws that come out of there? Where were they gone? Were it these? Yep, these ones. But we want to watch you destroy your stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I know some people do, but most people don't really care. It's been so overly done. You know, nowadays you've got to find better ways of making videos interesting. Just, just destroying all your stuff is easy. But it's not exactly hard, you know. And if you want to make videos that, are, that other people want to watch, you've got to have a sort of a high barrier of entry. You've got to be able to do stuff that other people can't do or don't want to do. If you make videos that anybody can make, and then it's difficult to compete because everyone's doing it. Yeah, sending stuff to the moon, it's easy, isn't it? I mean, anyone can do it. You're not in it. There's no risk of hurting yourself. Relatively cheap, really. Got a bit of wrenching you've got to do, what's annoying. So, sending stuff to the moon, there's not really any barrier to entry. Anyone can do it. So, you know, nowadays, not, not really the way to make interesting videos anymore. Sometimes, occasionally, but... I mean, what, what do you guys like most? What are, you, what are your guys' favourite parts of videos? Right, front shaft is good, so he can go back in. That place is... Oh, damn it. <coughs> oh, yeah. I didn't put the chassis brace in. Right, there we go, chassis brace is in. Get a screw in there before he wants to pop out. Ah, this is something that's tweaked. No, something is not happy. No, I think I've got to loosen off the front bulkhead. Can't, can't get that screw in. Got to loosen these off first. Loosen them off. Then we can get this screw in. Yes. Does your sister like RC cars? She has no interest in RC cars at all. <laughs> Kevin's the MPRC robot was. <laughs> Someone says. Right, that in there. Now we can do these up. I like every part of your videos, Kev. Way, thanks, dude. Can you do unboxing about the charisma? If enough people ask, dude, I will. I've only seen you ask about it though, so if, you know, if loads of people ask, I'll do it. It's like the sledge. I had so many comments, people saying, "Oh, Kev, I want to see the sledge go to the moon. I want to see the sledge doing this. I want to see the sledge doing that." So I've got one. But it all ultimately depends on. What everybody wants. So if a lot of people want to see the same thing, I'll do it. 
Yeah, don't get me wrong, I still, I still do go to the moon. But like, if you look at my earlier videos, it's like the whole video was just going to the moon. What is your favourite real monster truck? Eh, pretty son of a digger, grave diggers, my keys, my keys one, V2 vids. Probably son of a digger, really. If I could have one, it'd be that one. So I've built mine pretty similar to that one, actually. Sat back on. That there, that there. Let's get dry shaft in and the center gearbox next. Get all that lock back in there. That's the worst thing about going to the moon. It's so much, many hours of wrenching afterwards. When are you bringing out Lossy 5T? Just did, dude. The video will be out on that soon. It got pretty wrecked. I'll let Stempy have a go. <laughs> that went to the moon, actually. That did go to the moon multiple times. Right, where's my centre? Oh, no. Put the wrong screws in. Doesn't matter. You got these ones, they're the same anyway. Little, little Loctite double, don't want to go too mad. Always start rounding off heads and stuff. Looked like it had rear steer, yes! But that was me that bit, I broke that bit actually. <laughs> How's the X-Max doing? Good. The one that we cut in half on a long board, he's back in action. So that video coming out soon. Then my stock hex max got the full M2C treatment. You guys can't really see much there. Eh? Get you around a bit like that, and see what's going on. Hey, Claire in the house, how you doing? Claire's also a moderator. If any of you lot misbehave, Claire will deal with you. If you're going to ugly dugger stuff, I'll do the last little bit by hand because you can do it too tight and start stripping stuff off if you're not careful. On M4s you can normally get get away with one little ugger dugger but you don't want to go too mad, especially if it's into aluminium because it can just lock in there. See that nearly locks in there. You got your, oh, look at that, it's locked. That was a tiny little dugger and it's locked. So that is never going to come out now. That's in there. That is in there. That was a tiny list of duggers. So with that one, we're going to have to get the welder on there to get him out in future. That is not coming out again. It's weird. If you do metal to metal, with a little bit of that, one tiny little ugger dugger, that is it. You're never getting it out again. Have you broke the 202 mile an hour yet? No, but hopefully soonish. Hopefully soonish we will. Just trying to find some su suitable locations to run it. That's the hardest bit here in the UK. You see a lot of these guys that do a lot of speed running videos, they've got a location that's sort of local. I haven't. And I haven't really got the time to travel for like six hours a day just to go to a just to try and do a speed run and then crash it and you've done the whole journey for nothing. 
So, you know, if your speed, if you're really going after some crazy high speed, you need a lot of testing. Back and forth, back and forth, lots of crashes, a lot of testing, tuning, swapping things. And if it's six hours away, it's just not feasible. Because you're going to go there, you're going to have in your head 200 mile an hour, you might hit 140, thing will smash to a pieces. And then you've got to drive back, do it all again, and then multiple times. So not really doable unless it's like your life goal. If it was your life goal to be like the fastest RC car in the world, then I suppose you would. But for me, it's just a bit of fun. You know, I'm not that bothered if I really win the world record or not. I'd like to, but it's not a life goal. Once the truck was, that was a lifelong dream. So I'd drive around the whole world if it meant getting one of them. Is that an impact wrench you're using? Yes, it is. So you should really do the last little bit up by hand if you're going to use the impact. I've got a normal electric screwdriver as well, this one here. But I don't like it as much for some reason. I'm used to the impacts. So on that one, I've got a little 1.5 Allen key and all the other ones, they're all impacts. Yes, listen to Hardcore, he says, can we avoid using caps? Do you know what, I'll, I'll go out my way to ignore capital letters when people write in caps. Because, you know, if everyone starts doing it, it will look ugly. So when, when people write in all caps, I ignore. So the best way to get your comment answered, guys, is to leave it as short as possible and easy to read. Because the comments fly past so quick sometimes, it's impossible to get them all. What did you name the monster truck? Yeah, it all will be revealed soon. Got a couple of different ideas we're playing with at the minute, but all will be revealed very shortly. Let's get all this junk back in there. Come on, in you go. Don't battle me. Don't start battling me. I'm warning you. No, I can't find a hole. Where's the hole gone? What? What? Right, there. Got it. We got the hole. We found the hole. Do you have an S-Max RC? I do not. Uh, oh, what's going, what, what is happening here? ESC tray is like quite a nice bit to put your, put your wires under to keep away from your drive shafts, but at the same time you don't want to pinch them as you do it up. That feels like if I do it up, it's gonna. Oh no, we're good. I'm probably worrying too much. I'm not in it, am I, eh? I'm not in the damn thing. Call the truck the tall boy. <laughs> Where's the mini Evo brushless? It's hanging up on the wall here. Alive and kicking. Get all that on there. You should let Stempy drive to Monster Truck. Would you let Stempy drive to Monster Truck if you paid for it? <laughs> hey? Answer in the comments, guys. If you got, if it was your Monster Truck, would you let Stempy drive it? <laughs> when are you going to build your own backyard course? Uh, when I get a backyard big enough. <laughs> Hard course has no chance. Rick Roberts says yes. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> Craig says hell yeah. 
All right, Craig, would you let Craig Stone in the house? Hey, Craig, would you let Stempy drive your Mark 1 Escort? Where's the Chevy K10 FMS? Oh, up on the wall. Well, over there. Sitting over there. I've still got to do a video with that. I might just do it live. I've got so many projects going on, I haven't really got time to do everything. So, I might just do a live unboxing. <laughs> Banggood actually emailed me. When are you doing a video for that? You've had it for ages. I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Craig says, let Stemp drive it. You're a brave man. To be fair, though, when Stemp's in something, he, he gets scared. <laughs> he's right with an RC car because he's not in it, but the minute you put him inside something, he gets terrified. <laughs> so he might be right in the monster truck, actually. I don't think he would send it to the moon. But he probably would have to head out the engine and blow the engine up. He'd probably do that. Let Stemp drive land by. Well, I did say if he wants to drive it, if he gets, as long as he gets it insured, he can drive it. When you float in the sonic wake. Ah, possibly weekend. Possibly. Possibly. Any plans for more helicopter videos? Yes, David, I'm working on one at the minute, actually. A little, a little how to fly helis upside down and do stunts. I mean, I'm not a professional, but I can do a few stunts. So that video will be, yeah, I've still got to get a couple of little clips and then finish editing it and then it will be out at some point. I've got about uploaded, ready to go. And I've probably got another, oh God, 10 videos that I'm halfway through working on. Kev, are you going to get a Mugen? Oh, maybe. But I've just got an Inferno MP10. So, um, probably not anytime soon. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm going through a little phase at the minute where I'm getting all different race cars and taking them racing. So I've, I've done a two-wheel drive electric buggy, four-wheel drive electric buggy, uh, a couple of Banggood specials. So next up is this. So we've got to build this thing here. I've got OS engine here, all the best servos for it and everything. We've got that. And we've got an MP10 truggy as well we've got to build. And that one's got a Pico engine. And we're gonna wait. Oh, this one. I want to race this one here soon. Little lossy mini. We're gonna race it against the big buggies. Uh, but I'm not going to flood the channel with racing, you know, I'm not going to, you're not going to get 100 videos of the same car, you know, each car, you're probably going to get like one video, maybe, maybe two. So it's not going to turn into a racing channel, because I know, well, I know I know for me, watching racing is pretty boring. It's fun doing, if, if people don't moan at you, and people don't go shouting Marshall and all that stuff, it's fun doing. Watching it is pretty boring, so I'll do it for you. People tend to like the build. When I look at my audience retention, people all stick around for the build, and then when it comes to actually running it, everyone's gone. So mainly those those are for build videos, really, and it's not even a how-to build. It's just a bit of fun, really. People just seem to like just watching it. All the bits go on. But because people like the build video, we do take it to the racing afterwards, so people can see it go. But then I can't just do another racing video afterwards with the same car unless we've modified it or, or something and not doing it too often. 
Right, so this is this section. No, it isn't. Just gotta put the servo back in, then it is. Servo back in there, and then we'll be back in action. And then we've got to keep it away from Martin and Stempy. <laughs> How's steering on your Italian, Miley Sloppy? Oh, uh, good on mine. A little bit of slop, but it's a basher, it's not a racer. Kev, when are you getting wide max? Well, I've ordered it, but UK has been long winded and I haven't got mine yet. But I think I'm going to prefer my X Max the way it is. I mean, one of the whole selling points of the X Max is that it's clumsy. I mean, you get a crate in S8S, it's a lot more glued to the floor, a lot more stable. But I, I kind of like the clumsiness of the X Max. I enjoy it. You can get it up on two wheels. You can do crazy saves and stuff. So I like it. When do you think your stampede will arrive? Oh, no idea. Can you out a eighty cc in a or can you get an eighty cc in a five T? I think people have done it. Alright, uh, right. so next we've got to take this apart. So look, hot racing bulkhead. They're 70 75 apparently, super strong, but not if your name's Martin. Look, it's bent. Look at these lines there. The whole thing is twisted that way, and look at the screw hole. Can you see that? How bent it is? It's probably hard to see on the video. That is completely buckled. Yeah, look, you can see it there. Has anybody ever done that to a hot racing bulkhead? Freestyle FPV says any drift cars. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, yeah, probably actually. But uh, same with that, I'm not going to get into it. I'll do a little bit here and there. I'll, I'll do a build and then take it to like a club and do a bit of drifty drifty but I'm not I'm not gonna get into it it's not really my thing hardcore says Kimberly and Viverton ones are M2 are 7075 now yes Kimberly said she's gonna sort me out some actually so yeah, hopefully they're gonna be good. But are the hardcore, are the hot racing ones not 70 75? I thought they were. Look at this mess. One jump and it's completely wrecked the whole car. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. Why would you come out? What's your favourite two-wheel drive rig? Oh, I can't do two-wheel drive. I mean, I've got a two-wheel drive race buggy, and that one actually handles pretty good. So, my favourite two-wheel drive that I have is that one. That one does actually handle half decent. But usually, no, I'm not a fan of two-wheel drive. I really struggle with them. What is Hardcore say? Did Hardcore say something about... Uh, nope. They break too easy to be 70-75. Ah, so Hardcore thinks that the hot racing bulkheads are not 70-75. Maybe he is right. Maybe he is wrong. Who knows? All right. Let's get these off of there. Can you review FTX DR8C? I have ordered one, but I don't know when it's going to come.
But this has got a snapped off screw in there, so it might be really hard to get it out. No, no. Look at that. We've got a snap screw there, and we can't get the rest of it off. So let's get a hammer. Do 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 do. Why won't it come off? Where's my lever? Where's my lever gone? Who's taking my lever? It's probably stem. Ah, oh, we are off. <laughs> well, in doubt, give it a clout. Right, so that's off. Hmm. Right, that's off. Next, shock tower off. If in doubt, give it a clout. Hello from Michigan. Hello, JZRCs. Edmund says, how many RC cars do you have? And I don't know. 100-ish, probably a bit more. But it's hard to know an exact number because what do you include? Do you include the toy grades? Do you include ones that have been taken apart and stripped for parts? Do you include broken ones? I mean, what, what do you include? So, it's impossible to really put a number on it. Where's... Oh, oh, when he's broken my... Broken my sway bar thing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, right, yeah. Oh. That is buckled. <laughs> complete, complete buckleage. But when Little something has to give. But somehow, somehow it's still meshed. Don't ask me how. What scale do you prefer? I think X Max is probably my favourite my favourite scale. Does Talion have sway by the standard? Yes, David Turner. I think most of the Armour 6S ones do. I think, I think they all have. When you go to Art Legs, I don't know. <laughs> Any more Mini Monster Truck builds? Yes, there is. Let me give you a quick sneak peek. I've built a Mini Replica of the real Monster Truck. There, so once I get all my stickers made for the big truck, I'm going to get them scaled down. Get some stickers made for this one as well. It's got the same body. This is the new Fury Tech. If you go on their website, you can buy them now. And well, it's a chassis actually that you buy. So it comes with chassis, uh, motor, transmission, uh, axles. This is a four wheel steering version, this one. And then you've got to get your own wheels and tyres and your own body and your own radio gear. But this, this is, I love it, guys, especially for the winter. This would be perfect. So that's probably going to get loads and loads of use in the winter. Oh, so cute. I'll probably take it with me on the first show, actually. <laughs> right. Uh, has the diff survived? Yes, diff looks like it has survived. All right, well, I'm not buying any more hot racing bulkheads. Russ says they're good for speed running. Uh, yeah, for bashing maybe not.
Fury take monster truck. That's it. Fury take monster truck. C10. Yes, C10 body. That is a C10 body. CCXRC. Tony from CCXRC, he made it for me. So if you want to see a lot more of these mini monster trucks, check out Tony from CCXRC. Tell him Kev sent you. And um, he's got loads of videos with these. And he, he built some really nice ones. Joe R says, 110 replica of your monster truck. Yes, I'm going to get a lossy LMT. That's going to be a replica. All right, that off. So, right, let's get a plastic bulkhead. I've got loads of plastic bulkheads. I used to get through so many of these, and I got fed up with it. So I've got, like, ten here. But if it means destroying everything like this, it's more work, isn't it? I mean, changing this... Is not that bad, but changing a chassis is a bit of a pain in the arse, and it's a lot more expensive, and these are cheap. Kev, okay, do you still use Mini Rebo? I haven't for a while, dude. Got different bearings in hot racing bulkhead. Oh. 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 Right. Uh, uh, right. I'm going to wash my hands and be back in a minute and put gloves on. It's going to get messy in there. It's all going to get messy. Kev, come to Florida. I'd love to, dude. Maybe when all the Rona stuff is gone, gone. Because they're still making travelling a little bit difficult, aren't they? And you've got to muzzle up, haven't you, on the aeroplane and all that. And I'm not interested in any of it. I don't want to test, I don't want to muzzle, I don't want any of it. So, until it's all back to normal, I'm not going anywhere. I'm happy where I am. But I'd love to go to Florida. Probably one of the best states in America, actually. You have a good governor, I believe. All right, I'm washing my hands and I'll be back. You gotta look after your skin, people. Especially when you do a lot of wrenching like me, your skin can get knackered. So I do normally wear gloves and stuff. All clean. <laughs> A lot of people ask about MT8 video. Well, I have ordered it. When it comes, there will be a video. AFI says, you are truly an inspiration to me. Hey, thanks, dude. Big community here in Sir Wasota. Sorry, butchered that completely. Hey, Tomley's going to the skate park. Send it to the moon, Tomley. Don't hold back. Go to the moon, give it a durability test, or destruction test. Right, uh, so... 
little bit of bog roll there to put the diff on. Let's get this out of the way so you can see what's happening. You can't really see much, can you? Can you see now better? Is that better? Uh, better or is it worse or better? Right, so that diff out of there. And we get the pinion out next. What does infraction cost? Says Gerard. Um, no idea. <laughs> I'm not your man to ask when it comes to that, and it's different in every country, so just type it in Google and you'll see. Hey, DJ Wave can see. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so that out of there. Keep that shim on the pinion. I'm probably going to reserve these hot racing bulkheads for the speed running cars. Because they do make diffs holding better, said Raz. But not anymore for bashing. I think we're just going to have to live with it. That plastic bulkheads are a nice cheap break point. Right, so I think this bearing isn't going to fit. No, hot racing have actually given us a bigger bearing. So, old bearing is, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere. Right, I'm just rummaging, I'm rummaging guys. I'm trying to find my little, little container, all my little bearings. And I don't know where it is. There we go. There we go. I think that's the one. Yes. And then that back in there. And then this. Which way did it come out? Probably that way. Hey, Ian in the house. How you doing? Right, doesn't want to go in with two shims, so we'll take a shim off. Yep, yeah, one shim, one shim and it goes in perfect. Yeah, that'll do. A little bit of resistance there. It's probably better to have a little bit of resistance than to have it solid. Cover on. Go on. On you go. On you go. Why won't you go on? Right, that on, screws on. Are they the right ones? You don't want to go in and destroy any gears or anything in there, so that oh, was a bit long. Will it go in? Will that go in? Oh, right on the limit. Right, hold on. Back in a minute, get some shorter screws. Tomley needs to bash more dollar. No, he doesn't. He does good with his bang goods. Ah. You gotta kinda do what, what your audience want. If you change up too much, it could be bad for your channel. So I'm actually happy that people like the monster truck. I was worried it's gonna 
some people might not be interested and those videos will do bad, but they're doing better than the RC videos. Well, not, not all RC videos, but they're doing better than some RC videos. So that is good. Well, oh, that feels, that just felt like it wanted to strip off. That's not good, is it? Why does that feel like I wanted to strip off? That's crap, isn't it? I'll tell you what, the bulkhead looks a bit faulty out of the packet. Look, look there. Look there where the screw goes in, look. Looks a bit, bit meh. Oh, oh, we could put a longer screw in, but it's probably going to bottom out. So what we could do, we could get a drill bit out and make the hole a bit deeper. Let's do that then. So hopefully two and a half mil drill bit. Tommy says his audience prefer the affordable stuff. Well, there you go. You've got to keep your audience happy. I mean, that's the thing. When you when you do your channel, you've got to kind of do what your audience want. So in the early days, you can kind of do anything and then see what the audience like and then go from there. But as your channel grows, uh, your audience tend to like what they like. So, you know, if you started doing Barbie cars, you probably lose all your viewers. So you gotta you gotta do what your audience want. Tommy can do a few expensive ones, but you'd have to see how it goes. You know, if you've done one expensive car video and it does well, then, then you can sort of progressively start doing more. But if it does really badly, then maybe it's not worth it. I love Barbie, says Daniel. <laughs> All right, so that, that went in there with a longer screw. All right, that works. So now we can get some of this gizmos back on. Did that one go on there? Oh, it's this one. And that one on there. I don't know where the screws have gone, it held it on. Where's the screw's gone and held it on? Oh. Oh. No, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get some other stuff on there first. Alright, that. Where's the screws gone? We might be better off just seeing how deep the holes are and seeing if we can get some longer screws in there. So that one's that deep and that one... Oh, what's, what's going on? What's going on here? Where's the nitro crawler? The nitro crawler's over there on the floor and I've been procrastinating and I keep saying I've got to get on it. But the trouble is, it probably needs like a week or two of work spending on it. And if I do that, there's going to be no videos for, for two weeks. And for the views that the video is going to get, I can't really afford to give it two weeks. So I will do it, but it's just going to be over time. It doesn't like that one. So I'm procrastinating over that one. I tend to focus on the videos that I think are going to do well and doesn't, you know, it will do all right, that video. Well, I don't think it's worth two weeks of work, all right. Yeah, I've found if you drill out, if you drill out these, and get longer screws in, it makes them last longer. So how long was that one? 
So that was to there. So with that on there, we get quite a long one in there now, actually. Why oh, would that not? Oh, we get a screw in there that long. <laughs> that is one of my tricks on the X-Max actually, is I go through the screw holes and make the holes deeper and put in the longest screws that I can find. And it does, you'd be surprised how much stronger it makes it because the stock screw is like this length and you put that in there and have a bad landing, it's just going to rip straight out. If you've got this much screw in there, that's not ripping out of there, is it? Look at that. You can feel it's a nice bite as it goes in. You're not running the risk of stripping it off. Look at that. In there solid with the dugger, and it's not stripping. Fly it. Bugger off. Go. You're not paying any rent. Go away. Right, and then same with this one. Look, look how short those screws are. I mean, we can drill those screws right out much deeper. I mean, that is just asking to get ripped out the bulkhead. So, same on that. Let's make the holes deeper. Oh, they're already deep. That goes in well far. Huh, would you look at that? No, it's the longer screws. Hold on, hold on, wrong ones. Wrong ones! Right, let's get those in there. Look how long that is. Look at that. Put that on there. Look at that, all oh, that screw is gonna go in there. Should make it load stronger. Yeah, you can feel it when you tighten it up, it's really biting on there well. Can you review the Traxxas Jato? Says RC Stupid. Um, yeah, maybe. All right, so that's back together again. So that's good. It turns. All turns good. Nice and cheap when you break them. Happy days. Now, this bit here's broken off, but the slot in the chassis was miles bigger than that anyway, so it didn't really do anything anyway. But it must have done something, or it wouldn't have broken off, but there you go. That will go back on there. Uh, next, if we get this on, it's probably. Oh, I do sometimes put longer screws on this. I wonder if. What if we put a longer screw through the back and then put a nut on this side? So when you want to take it off, you've got to take the nut off and just slide it off. I wonder how that would work out. Fly, go away. You're not paying any rent in this building. Go away. Bye. Bye. You've got the whole room to fly around in. Go away. Go. God. Why is he got to be here? Uh... I'll have to piece everything together first before we do that, because I know behind one of these it gets quite tight. So we need the wing mount. We're going to go with an RPM. 
I hope that fly knocked. No, it just came in. Just came in, just like that. Right, so we've got the RPM ones, and they go in like that. Ah, right, that's it. Oh, we've got a bit of room behind there. Right, okay, back in a minute. I'm gonna get some longer screws to go in there. Right, so to, these screw holes, they rip out quite often with a shock tower. So what you can do is get a nut behind it to make it a lot stronger. But it's really hard to get the nut on there. So I'm thinking, what if we put a longer screw on, nut from this side. We'll give it a go, see what happens. Might make it better, might make it worse. If you don't try, I don't know, do you? So let's first... He's in. Don't kill the flies, Kevin. Oh, I didn't kill it. How's the Bitcoin stuff going? Well, I used to mine Bitcoin, well, Ethereum, but I haven't for ages now. So I've got a few Bitcoin just to mess around with, but. Not a few bitcoins. I've got a few. I think I've got half a bitcoin and some Ethereum and a few other ones. How long have you been vegan? Uh, I'm not vegan. I'm vegetarian. And I've been like that. Hardcore for about, I don't know, 14 years. But even before that, I, the only time I might have a burger if I went to the pub and I went into McDonald's after <laughs> would have a burger but I never really enjoyed it so really even as a kid I never really enjoyed as a kid I never really enjoyed meat but hardcore I'd say for like 12 years something like that and almost hardcore probably since I was about five years old right is that gonna work so we can get, so now look, we can put a nut on this side. Oh no, hang on. I think we need a longer one. Oh no, that won't work, will it? Because if that goes on there like that, we're not gonna get a nut on there. You're not gonna get a driver in there to do it up. Oh, well, it'll work on these bottom ones, it won't work on this one. Oh well, worth, worth a go. Worth a go, if you don't try, don't know, do you? Will the diff get past the nut? Yeah, easy. Do you have a solution for a slipping one way bearing at a pole start? Yeah, use different fuel. I used to use model techniques. And that made made it slip everything really bad. And then I've got, uh, now I use, oh, I forgot which one it is that I use. Oh, name a few nitro fuels. I forgot what, what brand it is, but ever since I've been using that one, it doesn't slip anymore. Fly, go away. Go, go. Oh, Jesus. Right, that one there. 
Uh, oh, we need this bit. Need this bit. I broke that. Oh, we should have put that on first, actually. No. So that's got to go on first. Can't get that on without that on. Right, okay. And then we got to get these in as long as possible. How long can we go with them? Longer screws. Hardcore says he hates changing armor bulkheads. I hate it as well. Such an awful job. It's like the worst. It's the worst thing to break, and they always break. Not like every bash, they're broken. You just don't get that problem with the X Max. People bang on about these being the toughest RC. No way. I mean, they're all right, but they're not the be or end all, are they? Can you imagine the state of the armor cars after Sunday's bash? Yes, hardcore. They would no way have run as long as your X-Max. No way. Can you review Traxxas Rustler? I have. I've done the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive. All right, so that's on. Uh, next, let's get all the arms back on, I suppose. Do you like nitros, says Sid? Yes, I love my nitros. When they're working, when they're not working, they're a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Russell said, my armor lasted Sunday, it stayed in the boot. <laughs> For American's trunk. I'm gonna catch that fly in this bucket in a minute. It's going in there. Right, it's in there. Mr. Fly, you are going out. Alright. Back a minute, he's going out. Oh no, I've squashed him. 
Oh, oh, sorry, Fly. Didn't mean to. <laughs> It could be worse, could be me. <laughs> oh dear. You should move to Vegas. Um, yes, maybe. <laughs> be nice and a fly, I squashed it. I didn't mean to, I tried to put it outside. Uh, yeah. He had it coming, that fly. <laughs> well, I didn't want to squash it. Are you still planning on moving? You should move to Vegas. I'd probably move to Florida because if they're going to do more lockdowns, your your governor doesn't stand for that BS. And I don't do lockdowns. I've got no interest in doing lockdowns. So Florida, lovely place. All right, so that's back on. Next. Ooh, this is bent, so we got to straighten that. So, right, hold on, back in a sec. I ain't gonna hit it with a hammer. Uh, that'll do, I'm not in it. And, oh, we've got to take body posts off. Right, so now we can get that in there. Oh, we've got to get the other side off as well. Right, so that one, let's get him, let's get him on the right side, otherwise we're gonna put the wrong one on the wrong side. That would be bad, then the body won't fit. Hey, Radbot's got tickets booked to Santa Paws. Nice one, dude. go in there and then there should be a nut somewhere that come off the old where's all the old stuff oh, nut there <laughs> people say they want interval music and then other people say they don't want interval music Put your own on. <laughs> yeah, put your own music on, then everyone's happy. Uh, next, chassis brace, wherever the hell that's gone. Here. We're nearly done. And then I'm going to do a little bit of work on the monster truck. I've got to do a little bit, I've got to make a little mount up, cut little brackets, a bit of wiring, tidy upage. I'll do a bit here and there, you know, I don't, I do a few full days on the Monster, but normally I just do, I do a bit in the evening so I can get dirty and then get showered up. 
Right, so that for there. Tool noise is better than music, says Phil. <laughs> okay, why don't you drive your Rustler two-wheel drive anymore? Uh, I don't like two-wheel drive. <laughs> I've really struggled driving them, and I don't enjoy them as much, so that is why. You know, when, when I come to going out for a bash, I have a little look around and I think, what do I want to play with? And I'll just pick up which whatever I want to play with. Or, if someone sent me upgrades for something, or I've bought some upgrades for something, or I've changed something, then maybe that want to go out. But I generally, I, I play and modify with the cars that I just feel like I want to play with. And the Rustler, I mean, yeah, I will get it out again. Well, I'm just not a two-wheel drive fan. And I prefer bigger cars as well anyway, like X-Max size cars. Right, so that's in there. Where's this nut gone? Where's the nut gone? Oh, where's the nut gone? In there. Craig says, have you done that accumulator yet? Yes, Craig. All done, all done, all fitted. We started it up yesterday. Make sure none of it leaks and make sure that it works and it works perfectly. And you know that switch that I said didn't work? It does work, just the ignition needs to be on. <laughs> right, so this is all good. I could take it out a bit more. Right, and that's all done up. That's all, this should probably be done up a bit more actually. Kev, what is your favourite YouTuber? Uh, I like watching Monster Truck videos and business videos. So V2 Vids and Swamp Thing are the ones I normally watch. But V2 Vids doesn't do that many videos at the minute, but uh, Swamp Thing 4 before is. So I watch mainly Swamp Thing videos at the moment. Uh, this is a drive shaft that came out. I would normally straighten it, but it's eaten it, look. It's eaten all that bit up. So I've got some spares. So you've got to see which one is the same length. And that would be... Not that, that's a rear one. That's a rear one. We one of these ones, so which one is it? And... That one. That one there, lads. That one there. Best RC YouTuber. Um, don't know. Don't know really. I don't tend to really watch that many RC videos. Because I'm spending all day messing about with my own RCs. So, I don't really watch that many RC videos. I mean, I watch friends ones when it's at an event or if it was somewhere that I didn't go to. But if I was there anyway, you know, if you think about it, I was there all day anyway. And then I was filming it all. And then if I edit the video, if I edit the video myself, I was editing it all. By that point in time, I've seen enough. I'm just going to temporarily put a screw in there just to hold it. Temporary screw to hold it, and then we're going to get the perfect length. Right, it's temporary. Temporary screw. I want to see how deep I can go with the screws. Mm. So I might be able to drill it out a bit, maybe. Not without drill bit though, bigger one. 
because we put an M4s in there. I think the ideal drill bit for that would probably be like a two and a half or a three. Probably a three mil, probably. into the diff there. Maybe. <laughs> right, so we can go that deep as that one. Let's go a bit more in there. So we can go deep as that one on there. So, oh, hold on actually. So this cover actually goes on those two, so we can go bit deeper than that but let's go with that let's go with that Kev, have you ever had a girlfriend? Yeah, I've had a couple, and for experience I've had, um, I'm happy single. I have no time for BS, no time at all. Zero tolerance to it. Oh, that one's quite deep. So that could be the... Uh, Oh, that is really deep. Does it still turn? Dave says, no wife, happy life. <laughs> oh, Mike says, move to Carmoy into fame. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Why does that one feel like it doesn't want to go in as far? Oh, it does. It does. Your turns, lovely. Right, so now we've got the longer screws in there. Them to go back in there. Right, look how long. I think it's worth going through, spending a bit of time, just seeing how long screws you can get in here. Just going to make it hold it together a bit better. All right, get in there. Oh, Mark says, Kev, I've missed you, man. I'm back. What's the most disgusting thing you've eaten? Um, don't know. Fish. <laughs> Never again. Absolutely repulsive.
Sway bar. Yes. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, damn it. Do you have a favourite RC car? Yes, I do. X Max and Raminator. Right, and that back on there. And of course, the wing mount's in the way. Hmm. And I don't even know where the screw is for it, actually. Probably got ejected when it crashed. What screws it need? It wants a uh, wants something about that length. Okay, coming. Hopefully that will cram in there. Probably. Oh no, it won't, will it? Ah, so we got to take the wing mount off again. What a pain. Oh, I don't like working on these. Look at that. Every just ah, ah. Look it in. Get in. Come on! Ah. Patience is running out. Patience is going. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh, bloody armour! It's like, you can't even take it out anyway. Get in. There you are, in. Stupid thing. Uh, where's, where's? <laughs> Hardcore, three, two, one, rage, yep. Everyone loves a good old rage. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, don't get me working on the co rally. That's like instant guaranteed rage working on them things. That's like the worst. Like the skeeter, the skeeter has got to be the worst RC car to work on. I don't think I've ever worked on something so difficult. Great, and ASs are pretty bad as well to work on. Have you ever got kicked between the legs? No. Right, it's in. Where hey? Where hey? We are in. Right, now these back on. What's the easiest RC car to work on? Someone said, um, X Max, I would say. Once you find your way around them, I mean, when you first work on one, it's a bit confusing knowing what screws get what off, but once you know, it's easy. I suppose it's the same with these. Once you find your way around them, but to do a bulky on here, I don't know. I suppose to be fair, next max bulkhead is a bit of a pain in the butt as well, but I'd say this is worse. I, 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 you never get stuck screws in an X-Max. That's one good thing. And you don't get so many bent parts, it's either broken or isn't broken. Shall 
asked to monster truck. I just did, dude. If you wind back the stream a little bit, you will see. Why is the camera so crappy looking? That is your end, dude. I'm looking at it on my iPad and it looks really good. So the problem is your internet, my friend. I used to have really bad stream, but I've got decent internet, internet here now. Have you kicked someone between the legs? No. No! Santa Pod will be the first time you give the truck a proper rip. Uh, yes, but I'm going there first for a practice day. But I can't drive it too hard because in Monster Jam you get like shipping containers and there's in a big stadium and all the crowd are higher up. Uh, on the smaller shows you're closer to the crowd. And last thing you want to do is do a massive jump, take a funny bounce and then kill someone. So that is my main worry, is hurting someone. So as much as I'd love to tear the wheels off of it and go mad, not happening when there's a risk of hitting people. So, yeah, I want to have some fun with it, but at the same time, I've got to make sure everybody stays safe. Are you still looking for perfect house property? Yes, I am still looking. Trouble is, as time is going on, um, um, the, the sort of the prices I'm looking at is going up as well. So I, I always want what's out of my price range. So, <laughs> yeah. But I am always looking. Sometimes stuff does come up. It looks like the perfect place. And then it's like in a bad location or it's got a not very nice house or it's got not a lot of land. So everything's got to kind of come together. Right, so nah, these go in there, that's broke. Dan goes, oh, I just made you wrench faster. How? How did you do that? I am intrigued how you managed to do that. Right, so now we've got a crate and wing. We've got a couple of different height options. Oh, that looks much better with a bigger wing. Oh yes, we like that. I'll show you in a minute when it's all on. So, oh yeah, I like that. And that'll give it a bit more absorption if you land on the back as well. Yes. So we can go for high or we can go for a bit lower. Mm. What do you reckon, people? What do you reckon? I think it looks much better with that wing. So we've got two hole options that we can go for high, we can go for high, or we can go for low. What do you reckon, people? Let me know in the comments. What do you want to see, high or low? High or low? <laughs> well, I'm going to sit down for a minute. My feet are aching. Low, someone says low. Low, 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 all right, everyone's saying low. All right, we're going low. Low. A couple of people said high. <laughs> we'll go low. We'll go low because most people said low. Oh, it's not going in the hole. Why are you not going in the hole? Come on, get in that hole. Get in the hole. Ah, there we are, it's in. 
We're in. Yes. We are in. Yes. Do you like go-karts? Ah, I don't know really. I like to have a roll cage around me and proper seat belts. Go-kart feels really exposed and dangerous. Put a bit of hair around it. Around what? Oh yes, I like the look of that. Right, we're nearly done. Uh, we need to repair the front body mounts because Martin pulled them off as well. Well done, Martin. I thought we'd have to put some longer screws in. Now, have you ever thought one day you were going to die? Yes, when I had that Sierra Cosworth, I had many days where I thought I was going to die with that. We have to drill these holes deeper so we can get longer screws in. So this is M3, so I think if we put a two millimetre screw in, I mean two millimetre drill bit, there should be a nice bitingness left in there once we put the screw in there. Hey, Hayden RC says, new to the channel. Hello, dude. Welcome. Drill this one out a little bit. And the bottom one all the way, not that you can see what's happening. And the bottom one we're gonna go all the way through. Just like that. And then, I uh, made a little pokey thing. What's a poker? Yep, that'll do. And then now, oh, 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 we can go in there pretty deep. It's good, right? Get the wrong screws. Look how long these are. Look how long the armor ones are. So if we can get that longer one in, that's gonna hold it on a lot better next time. It might not go in, but then we just go a bit shorter. Oh look at that, that went all the way and it's tight. Yes, yes. I don't know why RC companies always put screws in that are not really long enough. They probably want it to strip off so you've got to buy new parts all the time. Oh, that's, that's on there solid now. That's not, that's not going to get ripped out again. Not easily anyway. Why they put these tiny little screws in there that get so easily ripped out is daft. Out with this nonsense. Have you ever ran a motorcycle? No. I mean, I've had a pit bike before, but I didn't like the exposedness. And I had a go with my mate's two-stroke crosser, and that was really scary. I didn't like that neither. I don't bang a racing. That um, that feels well. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel that safe really, but it's still inside something, so it feels a lot safer than a motorbike. Right, boom, that's all back on. What we do need, oh, yeah, just found something else. We've got a missing body mount on here, look. So 
So let me have a look through my little armour boxes. I've got quite a few armour spares, actually, look. Get you on there. You probably can't see much, but I'm just, I won't, I'm not doing anything too interesting. I'm just looking for body mount. Right, body mounts in here. And we just need to find one of them little platform things. Right, let's get it over here. Let's get it over here. And uh, nothing in that one. Ah, that's got some in there. So if we've got some that aren't already open. Uh, none in there. Ah, here we are. Here we are, look. We have one in there. Boom. Now, we just boom that onto there. Boom. Right, next, body on. Isn't that nice? Get that body on there, then wheels on, and then we're done. Oh, this body, oh dear, oh dear. Look at the state of these body clips. How did Martin manage to do that? Let's get it out of there and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it's what I've never seen anyone do this much damage to an RC car in one hit. <laughs> if you didn't drive the Lambo, what would you drive? I don't drive it much really. So um, uh, I'll drive my Land Rover Defender. How's Weasel doing? Weasel's doing great. She's been really cuddly recently. Look at these body clips. Look at that. These are two body clips. Martin didn't mess around with that. But I can't blame Martin. It was my fault. It was my fault for giving him a car where the battery come disconnected. And where are my body clips? Where's my body clips? Oh, where's my body clips? All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you guys me looking for body clips. I've got one of these trays here. That is full of body clips and it's not there and i'm not gonna bore you guys looking so that can wait i'll just put a different body clip in there for now i'll do that off camera I'm looking for body clips put the wheels on have a little waffle while we finish drinking the chicory and then i'm gonna start doing a bit of work on the monster oh i've got to do my sway bar actually oh damn it All right, sway bar. Oh. Oh, I forgot about the sway bar. And I forgot about putting the nuts on here as well. Silly me. Silly me. Silly me. Three nutted on there. And M3 nutted on the other side. God, I really love this RC car though. I mean, the way it drives, it's got long wheelbase Mojave chassis on there. I really love it. Really, really like it. Someone from Massachusetts. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. You just made me swear now. <laughs> Jason said, did tell you 15 minutes about uh, 15 minutes ago about the bar. Yeah, I know, dude. I know you did, and I forgot. <laughs> Would have been easier to put that on first, really. Right, that 
ねーだろうねーマサチューセッツ。あかわさえ。かわさえ。あれはスウェーバーのスタイクのトランサイエ。New York here. Hello, dude from New York. Kevin in the Can Am. Eh,、uh, maybe. Maybe. Yes. Yes. When we get some property, probably, more than likely, we'll get one. I'm just out of space here. Got nowhere to put anything. So, what have you guys been up to? Let me know in the comments what you've been up to. You told me earlier, but I didn't look really too much. I saw a few comments.、Uh, oh, pardon me, how rude. Why are you stop making giveaways? Someone says, ah,、oh, they're just a nuisance. I get scammed. Last time I've done it, and me, everyone said they won when they didn't. And also, you've got to be properly insured as well. If I give something to someone and they hurt themselves on it, They could sue me. So, not worth the hassle. Plus, it, it just annoys everyone. Every time you do a giveaway, you annoy everyone else. You know, and you think if about 100,000 to a million people watch that video and you're banging on about giveaways, only one of those persons is going to win it. To everyone else, it's just a pain in the butt. So, no, I don't do giveaways. And not only that, I know some channels do it to gain subscribers. But you don't gain subscribers that are going to watch your videos. You're only going to gain subscribers that want the giveaway. And you're going to end up killing your channel. I mean, there's channels out there with like 10 million subscribers that, that get nowhere near as many views as I do. Because if they've got that many subs, no subs are not watching the videos, channel dead, game over. You know, the YouTube. It works through different stages. So, stage one, when you release a video, they show it to your subscribers first, to those that have hit the bell. And then they'll start showing it to your other subscribers that maybe haven't hit the bell.、Um, and then they're going to show it to other viewers that are not subscribed and potentially interested. And then, if it does well in that category, then they're going to start showing it to people maybe outside of your niche. And keep spreading out, spreading out, spreading out until they can't find any more audience that are wanting to watch your videos. Get this thing back on there. Having loads of subscribers that don't watch your videos is the best way to kill your channel. So, a lot of people always ask me for shout outs as well, but it, it doesn't help the channel. You know, I, I could get someone a few subs, and then if those subs don't watch their channel, it's going to be detrimental to their channel. Blah, 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 blah. Hot racing diff cases, not anymore. I just killed one dude. Game over for that hot racing bulkhead. Look. Look at the state of that. Completely buckled. And it destroyed the chassis and broke loads of other parts, so I'm going to stick with plastic now, I think. If you do a bad landing, you'll smash it off, but they're cheap. I've never destroyed an M2C chassis with a plastic bulkhead. I've destroyed plenty of armor chassis. <laughs> When will you announce the name of the monster truck?、Uh, at some point. I'm just going through trademarking it at the moment. And there's a couple of names at the minute that I've got it down to as well. So, yeah, got to do all that and then it will be announced. And it looks epic. Right,、uh, I think we're good now. Anything else I've missed? You should speed build your laminator. No, I mean, no, not for me. Cool project for someone, but not for me. 
like, sometimes people say, oh, I'm having eight, slow. And it's like, well, duh, it's a monster truck. It's not supposed to be a Formula One car. If you want a fast RC car, buy a fast RC car. You don't buy a monster truck, do you, if you want a fast car? And if you want to crush cars, you wouldn't buy a Formula One car. You know, all cars have different purpose purposes, which I thought is pretty obvious. But yeah, people go, oh, laminate is boring, look at it, it's slow. <laughs> okay, whatever. Get yourself a Formula One car then. But no, I, I've got no interest in making it silly fast. I mean, it's a solid axle. It's meant for big jumps and stuff. I just want to chill that body clip there for now, just so we can get a look at what it's going to look like with a higher wing on there. All right, wheels back on, and then we can we can sit back and admire our repaired RC car. Are these, yes, they are rotational. So that one for that side. That one for that side. And then these for this side. Yes. What's your favourite tea flavour? I don't really drink too much tea, but if I do, just normal flavour. Green tea, I quite like the fruity ones, like mango or something like that. I wish I knew how to eBay stuff like you do, Kevin, says Brian. Well, if you look at the back of the videos on my main channel, or I think there's a link in the description here, I have a free mini eBay course that will get you going. So that'll teach you the ropes of how to get going on selling on eBay. And for the people that really want to step it up, I've got a paid for one, where some people are making loads and some people make nothing. <laughs> It all depends on people's motivation and willingness to learn. But it's got a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can give it a go for 30 days. And if you decide, ah, eBay's not for me, I'm too lazy, or it just doesn't work for me or whatever, then you can get your money back. So you've got nothing to lose. Boom! We're ready! Flip you around, and there you go. What do you reckon? Does that look better with the bigger wing? I reckon it does. I reckon the wing that it had on there before, to me, just looked too short and too stumpy and I didn't like it. But now, to me, that looks epic. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this down a bit. I don't want too much downforce. We can do that now, actually. I don't want too much downforce because when you're going fast and I want to do speed jumping, uh, it's going to make it try to wheelie. And also, it's not going to be in the air for as long. So I think we're going to chop him down a little bit. Uh, how should we do it? Hole first. RC family says you won't need your money back. The course is worth it. Some people do want their money back. You know, I do get a few people request a refund, but not many really. Out of 10 courses that people buy, probably one person might want their money back. So, but you know, I'll get that. And I'm really, really flexible and easy going when it comes to the refund. I don't want to take people's money if they're not going to do what's in there. Uh, I think we'll go there. Yeah. There we'll go. There we'll go, right. So now I've never kicked up a fuss when someone's wanted a refund. I don't even want a reason. You know, if people want a refund, all I've got to say is, Kev, it's not for me, and that's it, they get a refund. The only time they don't get a refund is if it goes beyond the 30 days, because I've got my course on this teachable platform, and their rules is 30 days. So if someone wants a refund after 30 days, it's just physically not possible. I can't do it. And also, I've got all the extra content that unlocks after the 30 days, you know, all the gold. So, you know, it's not fair, really. If someone someone goes in on there, they do everything, 
they get all the golden content and then they turn around and say, oh, it's not for me. But now they've learned it all, it's not really fair. So, you know, I'm all about fairness. So if someone looks at it and doesn't want to do it and they want their money back, no problem. But what I don't want is people wanting their money back and then they go ahead and do it all anyway. That is not fair on those that have paid. It's not fair on me. It's not fair on anybody. How much money can you make off of that if you're really good? Ah, uh, Brian, sky's the limit. I mean, on my best months, they were about 30 grand a month in sales. And out of that was about 10 grand in profit. That was pounds, so dollar-wise, it's even more. I've got one dude that's making 20 grand a month in dollars. Got loads of people making a few grand a month, but it all varies. And you get people to make millions. I don't know if there's any people in my course that make millions. I'm not sure. But there are, there are eBay sellers out there that do make millions. I've made a million in sales on eBay. And probably out of that is probably around about 300,000 in profit, roughly. So it all, it all depends on the individual, depends how far you want to push it. The sky's the limit, really. I mean, you're going to get to a point where you haven't got enough time to do all the parcels and listing items and all that. And then at that point, you could employ people. So you can just keep expanding and expanding and expanding. But like for me, as a one as a one man band, just me doing it, not employing anyone, doing it all by myself. I was at my peak of doing it. 30 grand a month pounds in sales so profit out of that is about 10 grand in pounds so dollar wise we're looking at about 13 14 thousand dollars a month maybe something like that roughly all right it looks a bit ugly actually but i think it'll make it fly better if you've got too much downforce it tries to wheelie so yeah i think we're looking pretty good all right we're done here so Little bit of a waffle to you lot. I'm gonna think finish off my chicory. So if you guys go on Amazon, I'll show you the jar. I'll show you what it looks like. Go on Amazon and order yourself one of these. I mean it tastes a little bit coffee-ish, but it's healthy. Really good for you. And everyone that I've given it to, some people are like, ah, that's all right, and some people really love it. So I really love it. And Stempy's a bit like, it's all right, he'll drink it, but he prefers coffee. Uh, Tony likes it. A uh, few people come in here that really love it, so definitely worth a go. Hamper said, what's going on? Uh, nothing now. I've just repaired, just repaired my Italian long wheel base with the Mojave chassis. Brand new M2C chassis on there. Oh, I forgot to put the steering post in. Oh dear. Uh, steering post screws. Oh dear. I keep looking at it and finding more bits that I've forgotten about. Meet up with Cletus McFarlane when you come to US. He does RC too, does he? I've never seen him do RC. Is that on a different channel or something? Or I really do like Cletus' uh, compound though. I'll tell you who, who I'm really jealous of is, uh, what's his name? What's that dude that's into the drifting Jap cars? He's, just, he's bought a compound probably about a year ago. Loads of workshops on there. And really cheap as well. You got that for a really good price. You wouldn't get anything like that over here in the UK for that price. You should turbo a supercharged Raminator. <laughs> that would be cool. What is Stempy's job? Stempy does eBay selling and van driving. Adam LZ, that's it. Americans call it Adam LZ. In UK we say Z. Nice Kevin, that was therapeutic to watch. Oh, thanks dude, glad you enjoyed it. 
The thing is, I'd be I'd be um, wrenching on this on my own board, so I may as well just turn the camera on, put it on live, and get to chat with some of you guys. And um, we've got 472 people in the house. So hopefully, all of you guys enjoyed it. Stempy is a professional Stempy. Nobody Stempy's better. <laughs> 1500 horse, uh, 1500 horsepower twin turbo hurricane. Let's go. I like your thinking. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. It's got cold. I'll be back. Do you like flaming hot Cheetos? Uh, we don't really get Cheetos here in the UK. I've, I think I gave them a go in America. I'm not really too much of a fan of, of hot spicy food, but I go through phases. Sometimes I eat spicy food, but normally I'm not. When's the Baja come, coming back out? I don't know, not planned. Damien is saying, we enjoying all the content in the US. Thanks dude, appreciate it. Hi Samin. Don't forget to give Ian a call when you're done, says Russell RC. Oh, I didn't even know I was supposed to call him. All right, will do. Will do. I will give him a call in a minute. Any more Revo content coming? There will be, but I don't know when. Mammoth Stealth, um, I've sent it back to him, so whenever I get it back. Laminator wheels on X Max. I've done it. I've done that, dude. RC Lambo replica. Yes, I want to do a BT design. I've done a fake. SVJ body, so I want to get that. My outcast makes loud grinding noise out of the box. Is it normal? Um, maybe I don't know. So if if I'd hear it, I mean, if it sounds like that, it's normal. They've got metal gears in there, so it's going to make some sort of noise. <clears throat> It was really loud and probably something's up. What are the best drive shafts for the Slash 4 before? I've got the Traxxas ones in mine. You should get a haircut. No, don't be silly. Oh, see, actual Lambo, then take you to a skate park. If you pay for it, dude. What's your fastest car? That would be my Project 203 mile an hour RC car. Oh, Hank says, Techno M6 shafts are good for Slash. Good to know, dude. Let's go, Brandon, says Rachel. <laughs> yes, let's go, Brandon. What's for dinner tonight? Um, I'm doing a bit of, bit of water fasting at the moment, even though I'm cheating with chicory. <laughs> got a bit of belly going on. I'll get rid of that before it gets too bad. It's easier to do it when it first comes on. If you wait for it to be there, it'll take bloody years to get rid of it. If it just comes out a little bit, you're like, right, got to not eat too many carbs and sugar and lower the quantity for a while. Then when it goes away, uh, then I can go back to normal eating again. Hardcore goes, that's not a belly. Oh, I saw Hardcore's belly on Sunday. <laughs> uh, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive belly, Dave. <laughs> What's your oldest RC car? That would be my Manta Ray. Dave's not water fasting, Tom Lee. <laughs> When's the next Monster Truck video? Oh, I was up till four in the morning last night editing a Monster Truck video, but I've got to take the body to Tony's, so that's going to be in the video. Uh Mm, yeah, probably be that then on that video, probably. I mean, I was going to put it in that video of the finished paintwork and everything else, but I might I might just have that as a, a little short video with the body going on and then the walk around with the engine running. Looking at all the components and everything. Did 
Did you find a new property? Nah, still looking. I'm looking every day, dude. Micro builder says the sound of the monster truck is fantastic. Oh, dude, it's amazing. There's, there's no other engine it sounds like it. I mean, the Lambo sounds good. I mean, like the, the Hurricanes, I think, are some of the best sounding cars out there, really. But it's got nothing on that monster truck engine. That's just something else. What colour are you going to pick for the monster truck? It's going to be red. Talbot red. <laughs> Tommy says the closest he gets to water fasting is having a bath without a bar of chocolate. <laughs> Trouble is, as you get older, the fat goes on easier and easier. And if you don't, if you don't put a cap on it, you're just going to go out of control, and then it's going to be really difficult to get rid of it. So I just thought to myself, as soon as a bit of belly comes along, just get rid of it there and then. Nip, nip it in the bud before it gets bad. And normally, I've only got to do water, water fasting for a couple of weeks, and I was eating once every 24 hours. Belly's gone, and then I can just eat what I want again for a couple of months, and then water fast again for a couple of weeks. That seems to work for me. Can you give me an online job, Kevin? I would give an online editing job, but my brother's doing it, and he's doing a good job. Can you show us your muscles? I haven't got any muscles. <laughs> But Tommy says he's always been a bit porky. Are you are you more porky or is he getting older, Tom Lee, or are you just, or are you just staying the same? Hardcore says so he doesn't eat much. Hardcore, every time I see you eat, it's just junk food. <laughs> and you always say, I'll just come back from McDonald's. What's your favourite armour? Oh, probably the infraction, probably, I'd say. Well, this this Italian long wheelbase, I'm really loving that. I mean, I've got to have a bit more fun with it, but that could be one of my favourites. How much can you lift? I don't know. It's not really good to strain yourself, really, I don't think. I've got some dumbbells over there, but they're not very heavy. It's just for a bit of exercise if, I, if I'm doing a bit of sitting around. Tommy says it's been the same for 15 years. Oh, all right. That's all right then, just stay the same. <laughs> Kev, how's Claire and Ian? Good. They were good last time I saw them. Do you watch Star Wars? No, Star Wars and Star Trek. Can't stand it. Stephen hasn't been in the workshop for ages. He was here on Monday. We've done the M2C X-Max conversion. So we've done it to Steve's and we've done it to mine. Tips for building 100 mile an hour buggy. Um, foam tyres, gear it up, bigger motor. I'm not really an expert of all that, so have a look at Vaz Schifrin's channel. He's more of an expert when it comes to all that stuff. Where's Vinny? He says Jags. I don't know. I don't keep tabs on all my friends, so I, I haven't got a clue where any of my friends are. I could not tell you where anybody is, actually. Even my own family, I, I don't know where they are. FPVRC car anytime in the future. Yes, micro builder. I like the idea of that. I've always been planning on doing it, but I haven't done it yet, so I don't know why. Start working on another car, Kev, so we don't leave you yet. No, I'm going to do a bit of work on the monster truck. I'm going to crack on with that. Give your best American accent. I did not have an affair with that woman. That is about as good as it's going to get. Max 4 ESC for Aminator. Yes, Zoz. Probably will do that. What do you sell on eBay? I'm not falling for that trick anymore. I'm not saying that you're playing a trick on me, but I did share that before. And everyone copied my listings and ruined my eBay store. So I no, I no longer share what, what it is what I sell. One of my best sellers used to be the RC pull starters. I used to get the, uh, a generic pull starter from AliExpress. And then I found out all the different cars that they fit on, which is loads of cars. 
And I made loads with them, not loads. And then I've, I showed people what I was selling and they copied it. And now nobody makes any money with pool starters. <laughs> Long jump RC car coming back. Yeah, I mean, it's hanging on the wall. I've started filming a video with it. And I've got some different tyres on it now, belted ones to give a go. So, yeah, I mean, I've just got to finish that video, actually. I started that video probably more than six months ago when I still had the old braces in. So when you guys are watching that video, you're going to be like, oh, Kev's got braces again. Best RC car under $300, I would say, is 10 associated, even though I'm not sure if it is under 200 300 Maybe it isn't. Are you going to Paddlesworth? No, not at the moment. Lovely place, lovely people that run it. Um, 90, 99% of people that go there, brilliant bunch of people, but a few toxic people started going there and spot it for me. And it's a long way to go. And nah, it's, it's taking the fun out of it for me. So no, no, no plans anytime soon. Silverstone track day in the hurricane. Um, probably not. Don't want to smash it up. Do you have any upgrades on the V on the Max V2? Nope. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, metal drive shafts, and I've got uh, Outcast 4S tires on it. You should do a full place tour. I've done it before. Mike says, thanks for all the amazing videos, helped through two deployments. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Have you ever gotten a flight before? Oh, into a fight? Yeah, not really. One at school, one in a pub. Uh, that was it, really. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it, dude. When did you do the full tour? Oh, a little while ago now. Well, I did do an I did do an RC car tour actually, not that long ago. Will you be uploading more footage of you racing your two-wheel drive buggy up the track? Yes, but not. A, oh, I've got one dedicated video actually, because I've got a Sanwa whatever radio that Vinny told me to get. It's supposed to be the best radio for racing, but I don't believe I'm going to do any better with it than with my Dumbo. So I'm going to take it racing and then compare lap times with the Sanwa and with the Dumbo and see if there's any difference. Vinny reckons I'll get better lap times and be more consistent and the car feel better. I don't reckon I notice any difference, so we'll see. That RC car with motocross tyres was so bad. Yes, it's behind my head. It's hanging up, all repaired. <coughs> Best mini on-road bashers. Ah, oh, I don't know. Them Banggood ones are pretty good, the infraction copies. Fly Sky Noble Pro is mental for racing, says Jagged Edge 4x4. Vinny reckons it isn't. I mean, I know a lot of people really love it, and it's, I, I like it. I can't see anything wrong, wrong with it at all. I love it. But Vinny reckons he, he got rid of that, and he got the Sanwa, and now he's racing much better, and he reckons he can tell the difference. So, I think it's, like a, I think it's a placebo. <laughs> you paid all that money, and I think you just think that you're doing better because you paid all that money to try and justify it. What Santa Pod event are you going to? Uh, the Monster Nationals, I think 21st or 23rd, something like that, in August. Should I get Traxxas UDR? Yes, you should. But don't bash it. If you want to bash it, don't. Get the Mojave. How much worse is the Top Force than modern racing buggies? Uh, I don't know. Um, 
I mean, to me, my four-wheel drive buggy, what I've got up there, is a lot, lot nicer, but it could be down to setup. So if you put a decent setup on the top force, then maybe it would be just as good. I don't know. I'm not a racer, I'm a basher, so no idea. Have you seen Max 4 combo? Yes, I've got one coming. Hardcore says it's partly due to racers laughing. Yeah, not a, the club that I go to with Vinny is none of that. You know, everyone gets on with everyone pretty much. Doesn't matter what gear you got. It's not like that there at all. What's your best looking RC car? Raminator. Definitely the blue Raminator, I would say. power system or hobby wing power system depends what for i would say generally i would say castle for more power and hobby wing for more reliability but now with the max four that's probably going to be more power you stamp your boyfriend no don't be so disgusting kev when are you going to get a haircut though no. <laughs> Do you hold the long jump record? No. <laughs> DJ Wraith goes, oh my God. Well, I don't want a girlfriend and I certainly do not want a boyfriend. <laughs> How much do you get if you sell on eBay? Depends on you, dude. You can make nothing, you can lose money, or you can make millions. It all depends on you. Depends how far you want to take it, all that stuff. Depends how good you can learn, depends how good you follow instructions, depends what you sell, how you sell it, where you sell it. I mean, so, you know, you could lose all your money, or you can make millions. And how much you're going to make is going to be somewhere in between. But the only way of finding out is actually giving it a go and seeing if you're cut out for it. When next SBR 2.0 video? Oh, I don't know. Is Claire your girlfriend? No! That's Ian's wife. My, one of my best friends. God, you're a weirdo, you are. I take it you've got boyfriends. Probably multiple boyfriends. Do a review on S-Max. Nah. Kev, how much have you made on eBay? Uh, I talked about it earlier, but it's over a million dollars worth of sales. And that's around about just over 300,000 in profit. But that doesn't mean that you're going to do it. You know, I've got people on the course that have made more than me. Well, I don't know about all time, but I've got one dude on there who's making 20 grand a, a week. That was way more than I was making. I was doing 30 grand a month, which about 10 grand, that was profit in pounds. Have you thought about putting lighting kit on the monster truck? Ah, I don't know. I might have a glowing fuel tank eventually, maybe. Probably not. I don't like wiring. I don't want to put too much stuff on there. Probably won't. I probably won't. When you're getting a pet bird, never. I hate bird noises. Mammoth of Stealth RC Carp Day. Did they say something? Well, I gave them a whole list of things that I would like them to improve. And they said the only problem they had was the wheels and the diffuser. So I was like, okay, fair enough. But, you know, when they send it back, I will run it again and see what it's like. I mean, the videos they've done, it didn't fall apart. But who knows? We'll see. Are you a dog or a cat person? Cat for cuddles, dog for protection. Kev, what are you working on? Nothing at the minute. I've just worked on my Italian long wheelbase. Just repaired it after Martin slaughtered it. I don't know what the hell Hardcore's on about. He's having a convo with someone probably. Agreed, a bit of a weirdo that one. <laughs> Is it still the same live? Wow, yes, Razzy. Same live-o. Oh. 
We're going to end it in a minute. Just finishing my chicory. Get a tiger. Best of both worlds. Well, yeah, maybe, but then it might eat me. And it wouldn't be. Kev likes getting an idea from comments. Ha <laughs> ha. Any plan on Lego Technic stuff? Mm, no. Maybe for a stupid video to blow something up, but not as a serious build. Rick says I took a little nap and he's still rolling. <laughs> yeah. Have you got a new EDF plane? No, but I'm going to get a proper turbine. Because you guys in that video, I said if you guys want to see it, I'll get a real turbine. And you lot all said, yeah, I want to see it. So now I'll, I've got to get a real turbine, haven't I? And I've still got to send the XO1 to the moon. I know. I haven't forgotten about that. That will go to the moon very soon. Yeah, soon. Kev, are you doing more indoor racing? Yes, but I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to YouTube all of it. Maybe a couple of clips here and there. Bruce says, your content is awesome. I don't miss anything. I am a nitro head. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. I do do a little bit of nitro, but I'll go through phases. At the minute, I haven't... Yeah, I have to get my nitros out again. Yeah. The Savage needs the gearbox looking at, and so does my Mad Force USA 1, whatever it's called. When's the X-Max M2C bid come in? Uh, I've still got to film the bash, and uh, then I've got to edit it. So maybe in a couple of weeks, possibly. Wired says, why did it say size matter on your cups? Because it's a big cup. This is like four times the size of a normal cup. So, and that was the biggest cup that I could find. And that's what it said on there, size matters. So that's why. <clears throat> what about YouTube, approx dollars? Depends, dude. It depends. Some people make nothing. Some people make millions. What engine is in your monster truck? A big block Chevy alcohol supercharged. Nitro is the way forward, says Bruce. I have, it's got pros and cons. I do love my nitros. I mean, nitro, when it's running good, is more fun to find. But it's all the mess and all the noise and everything. The noise is good. But sometimes it upsets people, so, you know, normally for me, electric, sometimes I try. Yes, turbines is what I mean. BNL says, my truck sounds awesome. Ah, uh, thanks to the live, it's such a good sounding engine, that is. Actually, I let Stempy sit there yesterday and start it up, and he jumps out of his skin when he gives it a little rev. Sounds kitschy. Yeah, mm, maybe my end, maybe your end, who knows? Oh, it won't be it. Oh, must be my end then. Not much I'm doing about this, sorry. What about Kev? Oh. Uh, your mic is missed. Sorry. What do I do? Uh, we're going to wrap it up then. The sound's gone weird. The sound's gone weird. Uh, all those kitchen, all those cut it out. I stand up a robot. I stand up a Dalek on a vape. <laughs> uh, so we're going to call it a day for this one. I've got another live vape coming up. I've got a fix of fire, the fire team. We're going to do that on that last phone. You probably can't even hear me. So, bye people. Thanks for all watching. Stepping by. Thanks for everybody. Give us a thumbs up. Everybody watching now, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, Pete. To help the old algorithm. The more thumbs up you guys give, the better the video does. So, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. Oh, some people say it sounds fine. Yeah, it sounds funny. <laughs> oh, you still make it out. Anyway, dude, I'm going to go back to the monster truck and uh, I will see you guys probably, probably next week. I'll be busy now for the rest of the week. Uh, probably next week we're going to live, maybe we'll fix some stuff. Alright guys, see you later.